Welcome back to Educator.com's AP English Language and Composition course. This lesson is the third part of our crash course on rhetoric, and it's about warrants. Let's get started. All right, we begin, as always, with a lesson overview. We're going to talk about the three elements of argument, the three things you have to have to make your argument work. We're going to check in with our example of the movie theater. We're going to ask, what is a warrant? What do they actually do? They're one of the hardest to define. Uh, parts of any argument. But we are going to talk about the three different types, the authoritative, the substantive, and the motivational. And finally, we're going to look at how to evaluate warrants, how to make sure that they're actually good. Now, once again, I recommend Annette Rottenberg's Elements of Argument if you want to get into all of this in more detail with tons of examples. If not, just watch through these lessons. I will explain everything. Now, the three elements of argument that you absolutely have to have. First is your claim. That's the main idea or thesis of your argument. So if you're, making, if you're writing an essay, it's going to be your thesis statement. Then you have your support, the information that backs up your claim. Okay? That's your data, that's your evidence, that's your expert opinions. We talked about that in the second lesson. And finally, today we're going to talk about your warrant. That's the big idea that connects your support to your claim, the generally agreed upon principle. Now, we come back to our example. You're in line for the movie theater. Somebody cuts in front of you just as they're opening the doors. You've been in line for two hours. You're really upset. You give the person a nasty look, and they go, what? And so you make your claim. In answer to the question, what, you say, you should go to the back of the line. And they say, why? So now you have to give them your support. You say, because I was here first. I was, you know, I've been sitting here for two hours. There's your data. And because they're truculent, they say, so what? They get in your face and you say, first come, first serve. Everybody in line agrees if you were here first, you should get in first. And the warrant is what we're going to talk about today. Now, warrants are actually kind of fun because they're the part of the argument that's almost never stated. So finding the warrants can be like solving a puzzle. A warrant is the assumption, the common belief, or the general principle that connects the claim to its support. Now, if you think about your movie theater argument, your claim is you should go to the back of the line. Your support is I was here first. On the surface, you should go to the back of the line and I was here first don't have anything to do with each other. It's only when you connect them to the commonly accepted idea, first come, first served, that they make sense and your argument holds together. Now, here's the tricky thing about warrants. In an essay, your warrant may not be stated at all. Very often, it's something obvious, so obvious that you can imply it and everyone will get it. But you must know what your warrant is in order to construct a solid argument. If we look at our movie theater example, it is a solid argument. Most people agree, first come, first served, holds in that case. But if you made the same argument in an emergency room, and you would come in with a scraped knee, and somebody else came in with a broken arm and the bone sticking out, well, most people aren't going to say, just because you got here first with your scraped knee, you should get attention ahead of the person with the bone sticking out of their arm. So you have to know what the warrant is in order to make a solid argument. And once again, the warrant is the so what part.